And the Boise State football team touching down in hot and humid Atlanta in just a matter of minutes. Now the Boise State football team gets to travel in style. A private charter jet all the way cross country. For Mac and I, it was a little less glamorous. Take a look. Guys, I'm actually contacting you from the past right now. I just woke up. It's 4 a.m. on Wednesday morning. I'm going to get in the shower, and then I'm going to go over to Amanda's, and then we're going to go to Atlanta. This is what that trip looked, felt, and sounded like. Now, I don't care what trip it is. Don't nobody like that sound. Ugh. Once out of bed, morale quickly improves. For Georgia, I packed a bag full of breathable clothing, sweat-resistant sunscreen, and well wishes from the Bronco faithful. Well, first thing I want to say, I wish I could be there. But... We're going to kick butt. Oh, good luck. Absolutely. Go Broncos, we believe. Go Broncos. And can you say, go Boise State? Go Boise State. Carrying messages like the one from that young gentleman, it becomes hard not to find yourself in a better mood, even if, for all intents and purposes, it is still nighttime. I drove to Amanda, we loaded all our gear in a separate vehicle, we checked five bags at the airport, we got on a plane to Salt Lake, we got off the plane to Salt Lake, we walked 12 miles to our next gate, we boarded our second flight, we got off our second flight, we waited for our camera boxes, Mac got bored, we kept waiting for our camera boxes, Amanda got nervous, we found our camera boxes and then... Welcome to Atlanta where the players play, and we ride on them things like every day, big beats hit streets, see gangsters roaming, and parties don't stop till 8 in the morning. We were outside on the ground in the ATS. <laughs> I'm thrilled. That's Amanda, 45 minutes later, driving our clown car. The last transportation link in a cluttered day. It took two flights, two trains, three cars, and more than 2,000 miles. But now we're finally ready to watch a little football game. Good luck, BSU. Make us proud. And speaking of doing us proud. I'm Brigadier General Bill Schauber. The men and women of the Idaho National Guard and the Military Division wish the Boise State Broncos best of luck as they travel to Georgia to beat the Bulldogs. And with those guys behind them, the Broncos should experience a very warm welcome to Atlanta. Whew, it is getting hot here in the ATL. Luda's actually in town this weekend at a club. Coach Pete probably won't let the rest of the Broncos go to. We don't know if he'll be watching the game, but we will be keeping our eyes peeled for him. Live in Atlanta where it's getting very hot in her. Matt King, today's Channel 6 News.